No, I'm like, I am. No. Put your fucking thing in. I'm asking. Linda? Linda? Fuck it. Yeah. Sweet re sexy. Fuck's sake. We will get it, we'll get it live. You tell me when it's ready to go. I am fucking absolutely fucking on one, yeah? And I am, do you know what I mean? I want to just fucking, if we do get shut down halfway through, guess what I want you to do? Go over to the other server. Start putting this fucking shit out on truth blog. That's all I'm interested in. Tell me when we go. Good go live in five minutes. Live in five minutes. Come fucking now. I've said fuck this is part of the problem. We can't even get our fucking message out on time. We tell people we're gonna put a fucking message out on time and then we're late. That's part of what's fucking happening. Right. Fucking things on your cunt. It's on your cunt. <laughs> I think that's on. Hello? Right. I've never ever done anything like this before. I've never put myself in this position. And it's certainly not something that will be being repeated. Let me show you something before I, I say what I want to say. First of all, I just want to give gratitude and thanks from a place of human connection to Nick Grimshaw for allowing me to use his social media. I, I never will ever, ever fucking register on social media. You will not fucking get me on MySpace, house party, none of it. They take your details and then they gotcha. I've got nothing. I've got no uh, laptop of my own, no phone of my own. I don't have a landline. I've got, I've got no windows, fucking nothing. Glass carries signals. I have a shed and I have one bucket under my arsehole to shit in and another bucket of processed nutrient that I use just to, to feed on. That's what you fucking need. Let me show you something, yeah? Because whenever there's a laptop in my house, and Linda's got one, Linda, it's my sister I'm living with at the moment during lockdown, this, this might not look like much to you, but I have always had this over my laptop camera. This is the first time ever I've allowed the controlling elites to listen in. And do you know why? I don't give a fucking shit because... The time has cut this time they have gone too far. They must think we're fucking lemmings. They must think we are so fucking gullible, locked down for a virus caught from a fucking wet market in Thailand. How gullible do people think we are? It, I, it ain't funny, obviously, because of all the um the shit we're seeing on the news, but part of me has to laugh. I find fucking Coronation Street more plausible than the fucking lies being spun to us by the media about what's really happening with 5G. The same as what happened with 4G, 3G, 2G, and when a landlines went in and it caused syphilis at the turn of the century. And men got the blame for that. Victorian men, oh, you've been uh, fucking a prosa, and that's why you've got a, a black uh, ulcerous growth on the shaft of your cock. And it was all because they switched the wireless off. Marriages and lives ruined. Every time they want a new bit of technology, we take the fucking blame. The gerbils that they want to do experiments on just because some fucking Thai market had to sell dirty food. And I like Thailand. Let's be clear. I, those of you who follow my work will know that I've been living here. I've fucking been living in Thailand for the last 10 years with my third wife, Mei Lin. And he, she... My Lin is more upset about this than me. We've been to Hua Hin in the middle of Thailand where this came from. I'm sorry for the people that are ill in the hospital, but this is what's doing it. These things, throw them out, your mobiles. Don't use microwaves. I didn't catch that. Shut Did up, you Siri, you cunt. Now, 
I'm here to take your questions. I have answers here. I don't know how long this stream will go on before it's cut off. There's going to be people that want this shut down because you'll notice so far I'm talking in quite general terms. The moment I mention COVID-18, the moment I start to give you some of the government cells, activists and soldiers of this, this pyramid army, it's highly likely this feed will be cancelled. Shut the fuck down. Now, I've already had old Bill phone me two days ago when I made accusations about the frozen food chain Iceland saying they were the ones funding the 5G masks. Why? Well, guess who what? Who do you think made the most fucking money when this kicked off? The supermarkets. The supermarkets made as much as they did when COVID kicked off as they do in the Christmas week. Well, I ain't pulling a fucking cracker. I don't know about you. I'm not saying Iceland is solely responsible there. I've got some evidence coming in now from the States that Asda's involved as well, because they're, as you'll know, they're owned by Walmart. Thank you for a lot of your messages as well. Yes, of course. I don't like talking about 9-11 because I always end up in jip, but you'd have to be a fucking little bit special not to have added 9 and 11 together and got 20, which, by the way, fucking Poirot, is this year. 9 plus 11, 9, 11 equals 20. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. We're all being mugged. Mugged by Orange and Mercury 1 to 1 and all the mobile networks. Mugging us. I'll take any fucking questions, what anyone's got. And for people that, by the way, fucking trolling the shit out of me, and say, to being racist because I'm working class. Okay, right, I do, drive a, I do drive a black cab. But how many people do you think I see on a daily basis from all backgrounds? And how many does one scientist who's lived in a fucking lab doing PDFs, you know, just because he's written his doctoral thesis and he's published his PDF, PhD, he is better than me. Cunt hasn't seen anyone. I've driven border to border, river to river, bankers, politicians, people of all backgrounds, white, black, all colours. I fucking, that's like 10 degrees. And I ain't been in a hospital fighting this shit. I've been studying it. So I've got to the bottom of what's causing this corona. If you don't believe me, go to one of the 5G masts yourself. Climb up it. We went up it and we took my mate's uh, breed's mice and we slung a mouse on one of the wires going into it. Sizzled like that. <clears throat> Gone. That's what's going into your fucking ear rolls when you make a phone call. Enjoy your 5G FaceTime. That's why mum's gone to Iceland. Let's take some questions. Anyone want to know? I've got my all my sources here. We will talk till we're cut off. I've been warned several times. I've got my phone here. It's going some, something fucking rotten here. Did you put the 5G towers up? Obviously not. Come on, this is fucking, this is serious. Let's have some questions. The bat. Okay, bats. Bats. Does, can a virus cross from an animal into a human? Last time I checked, we weren't living in a fucking Dracula film. I've not been bitten by fuck all. I ain't got wings and I'm not selling my shit as fuel. I'm not a bat. A fucking bat. If you're going to make us believe bullshit, at least make it a primate, like with AIDS, which, by the way, was made by Microsoft. AIDS. There's some other actors you might want to look out for. Slow down the feed of Saturday Night Takeaway. Do you not think it's a bit fucking weird? Where everyone's been stopped transmitting. All the top broadcasters, Jim Davison's off the air, Russell Harty, um, they've all been taken off. And yet, Ant and Deck continue. Coincidence? 
I don't fucking think so. Have a look at some of the supermarkets they've worked for. Every little helps. What do you think that actually means? Think about it. If you were to wake up for a fucking second, you would see the idiocy. Let's have some more questions. I'm going straight back out to Thailand when this is I'm done. Dave Lewis is there. Dave Trenton, uh, Kevin Farmer, they're all there. We all got with Thai birds in the end. Not out of anything like fucked up. It's just, I'm. So, do you know what I think it is? If just to to, to psychologise for a second, I'm so sick of being shut down, shut on, and told I'm nothing by the mouthpieces of capitalism. That it's nice to be worshipped, and the Thai bird proper worships you. Do you know what I mean? Any other questions? Um, there's another Ebola outbreak in Africa. Well, Ebola is another absolute fucking classic. Go to the countries that have Ebola, right? What don't they have? Roads. Nearly every single place that has Ebola has really poor transport links. Not many roads. Uh, you can't access them. Now, have what have we started here recently? Smart motorways. Has anyone been on one of those smart motorways? Go on one. I advise you to take a couple of fucking paracetamols afterwards. They are using African people, right? Countries, Guinea, uh, Peru, Guinea, Bassau, uh, New Guinea, all of them. They're experimenting on the people there where there are no roads. And then they're using the product of this technological experiment because, again, I'm sorry to break it to you. Sorry to sound like a stuck fucking record. At least a record would be analog, couldn't infect you, unlike an MP3 file. There's another conversation. They are bringing that technology into smart motorways after testing it in a place where no one can get out, hence Ebola. It's not coming to people are getting headaches. They're getting sick on smart motorways. Smart motorways are using technology to control us. If we don't do what we're told, society breaks down. People are calling me out on my background. Again, racism, just because I don't speak like I've fucking studied something to death. You don't have to study something to death to know something about it. I've read everything about Corona over the last 10 days, everything you can read. So tell me some cunt professor that's been locked up in his ivory tower up in fucking Middlesex University, one of that top lot. How does he know more than me? Doesn't. And yes, I'm not proud of the shit I was involved in before this. And I was, as some people are so eager to point out on one of the firms. But when I was with ICF, it taught me about structure and survival. And I think like, I didn't enjoy what I did. I didn't. I got no pleasure. I mean, one time we were outside of news agents and fucking Dave Repton is gone now. Testicular cancer. Fucking bang. Straight through the window, this news agent, because the mug, he had fucking uh, mill colours on. And fucking bang, honestly, the lads, they were straight in there, right? Fucking all, it was, uh, all the wank mags were still about that time. We've kicked the fucking pong mags off, fucking tore the place up, smashed it up just because I saw the shirt. Oh, mate. Yeah, and I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not proud of that, my background. Any questions about society or the structure of power? Intelligent ones. Come on, guys. We've got five more minutes. Someone's asked when, when the DFS sale is back on. I mean, I don't know whether you're joking or not, David, Whaley, but it's interesting what you've asked there. People are, oh, conspiracy theories, this, you can't prove it. When was the last time you saw the DFS sale end? It continues. DFS sale start, and we buy it like fucking sheep. Oh, I better go out and get a bar. Oh, no. DFS have got 30% off. I better rush out and buy. Check six months later. Same leverette poof, 30% off. 
and you buy it, just like you're buying 5G. Same thing. Any more questions before I go? Uber. Excellent question, Emma Price. Uber is largely a bunch of job-stealing little fucking monkey cunts, right, working without insurance or license, trying to fucking rob the working man, fucking indigenous, like whatever colour. I shouldn't. I don't mean indigenous white, but I just mean Borneo. And I wouldn't be surprised if some Ubers get a little bit hurt coming up because there is strong evidence that the virus is spreading in London because of Uber. When people are hailing the, you can actually, if you Google after this, Uber coronavirus spread, you can actually see the spread of the virus across London. And when Uber's surging 1.2, you will notice that the virus infection rate increased by the same amount, 1.2. Again, take the piss, mug me off, do what you like. So just two more minutes now, and uh, I'm going to have to sack this off. I've got uh, – I'm just trying to stay fucking fit. I was so annoyed when I saw some of the bollocks coming out because the, the Prime Minister is unwell, not in a meeting – not in a fucking Davos meeting with the American president, Vladimir Putin, and the fucking um, the Chinese one. No, nah, they're not in a meeting. No, nah, you sheep fucking muggy cunts. Yeah, you believe it. Boris is in hospital, apparently. Is he? Fuck. I can see him now. Why do you think he's been taken out of the game? So he can work on the after plan, on 6G, on its launch, on strategizing outcomes. People believe any old shit. And as for PPE, shortage of PPE, what bollocks? For the last year, that's all I've had on the phone. PPE this, do you want to buy PPE? Are you owed some PPE? Fucking constantly. All of a sudden, no PPE. We buy it like we fucking buy Ant and Deck, Asda, and the DFS sale. Connections, all of it. My missus... My second missus, uh, Carolyn, she does Reiki. And she has got an ability to tune in on the energies around things. And she actually tried to do Reiki on her nan, who she's isolating with, and she couldn't touch her. She tried to lift one of her, she has to put talc under one of her nan's tits when she's working on her. And she tried to get into the tit to do Reiki and her fingers were thrown away by the amount of 5G energy that was in her ass. And she lives in the East End, right next to that 5G marks, next to the big Ikea. Hand thrown off a of granny's tit whilst doing Reiki. Literally, a Reiki is, if I could give you one thing, call everything bollocks, but Reiki is fucking real, mate. And you don't actually touch or do anything. You just bring a hand close and the energy comes out. And she went, she went to work on Irene and she couldn't even, she couldn't even do it. Couldn't get the towel under there. So uh, her nan's not been in a bra. Last question. We're dropping viewers now. Good. You know, most fucking these insta fucking what's it called graham these twats oh no i have dropped 100 viewers <laughs> you should be glad what's going on now is all the little people with their blindfolds on are fucking off back to their fake life where there's a virus who's come over from a bat that you bought down fucking walthamstow market because a dirty fishmonger didn't wipe a side down so now i've got aids that makes sense Fuck off then. Go on. Fuck off the chat. Fuck off the broadcast. We don't need you. People here are here to fucking learn. Thank you. Rui Fredino. Smart meters. Do not install smart meters. Two things are happening. One, they've got a thing called intralistic 
energy that interferes with the outer plasma of gray cells. That lowers your immune system and enables the coronavirus to enter. I was speaking to uh, an American doctor, Dr. Kempfner, about it. I'm going to try and get Kempfner on here. Not only that, but it's sending data back to the people that run it. And they are harvesting your data whilst weakening your immune system. Oh, but I saved seven pound a quarter. Even I've saved seven pound a quarter, but my liver's got a fucking growth on it. Worth it, cunts. Um, people are asking who this American doctor is. It's Dr. Kempfner. He's a doctor in America, a proper doctor for all those racist people saying that because I'm working class, I might, I'm not allowed to comment. He has studied COVID-18 back to fucking front and he's a doctor. So you can all shut your freaking mouth. You can look up his dissertation online if you want. He did um, uh, lavender essential oils in healing. Uh, the properties when used with a non-ionic water base. That was his dissertation when he was doing his uh, aromatherapy doctorate. So this is a, a doctor. I'm going to fucking get him on here for an interview later in the week. And you can hear someone who has studied this properly from a medical herbalistic background. And we'll uh, we'll see who's right. One, um, this, by the way, if you're asking, this is a juice made from uh, mushrooms and meat. And I use, I have it as a, a paste before I hit my cardio workout. Uh, this, uh, you can buy a load of old shit. This is one of the best things you can do for your immune system, a meaty poultice of mushrooms. And it will actually fire up white blood cells. Last one. Terry, please explain how I can get completely free, green, electric. Global warming. Look out your window. Go on. Have a little fucking look. I'll give you a second. Have a look. Did you see a dinosaur? Did you? No. Dead. The reason being is our planet naturally fluctuates in temperature and that's what killed off the dinosaurs they were only able to enjoy temperatures up to 23 degrees celsius and it heated up so bad particularly the ones with the small arms can't cool themselves they can't fan themselves fucking nothing what's happening now is it's happening all over again which is why as long as you prepare your home you will be, you cannot stop this spunking loads of money. I always ask myself, in whose interest is it that we believe climate change? Who wants you to believe that? Iceland. Fucking Iceland. The clue is in the name mugs. Iceland supermarket needs you to be hot, so you will buy its fucking lollies. We're back to the beginning again, aren't we? Iceland supermarket through 5G masts killing people off to buy frozen food to heat us up to cool us down it's one fucking money circle and the swedish cunt that runs the company creaming it at the top same bloke that owns ikea by the way not a coincidence <clears throat> oh. Sorry about that. now i've just been asked by someone called daniel stone um what my opinion is on lockdown my opinion on lockdown is the same as my opinion when i see sheep put in cages on a farm controlling animals in boxes so you can harvest their meats at a later date now not literally i'm not talking about literally being like used like a fucking kebab and that they want us in here so they can complete it. Do you know, it's the other day what they said. Oh, you can go out for exercise 30 minutes and then they fucking shat themselves. Oh, but make sure you don't drive to your walk. Why? Because they are putting these masts up. Ask your friends who work in telecoms. They're getting this work done while we're in watching Ant and Deck and particularly who is on the payroll of Iceland and 5G. Lockdown. 
just staying out of the way while they dig a fucking mast in. I'm trying to get my channels back up. Um, truth hurts. Uh, I'm going to get my regular broadcast, Truth Decay. Uh, pull my truth out. That's my daily factoid. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, do stay safe. You don't need to wash your fucking hands. You don't need to catch and kill and bin anything unless you're having a fucking hand shandy into a sock. And I don't need to do that because I'm married to May Lynn and she fucking obliges, Linda, you fucking... I'm not, I don't mean to be bitter to my ex, right, Carolyn. But at the end of the day, if I wasn't so on it now, she shouldn't have hacked my webcam. It was her that hacked it. And that's at the end of the day. I don't want to go into it. But you don't need to wash your hands. Anti-back. What is anti-back anyway? Anti-back is a nanotechnology. Go out, take a gulp of air and just stay away from the technology. I don't know if I'll get to do another one of these because they want me to be silenced. Just remember, 9, 11, 9 plus 11 equals 20, 2020, coronavirus, 5G, COVID-19 started in 1919, COVID is an anagram of Iceland. Do your fucking work. You don't need a fucking line of Colombian marching powder or fucking wake up and join the party of reality. I'll see you soon, people. Next time I'm going to get Dr. Kempner on Q&A. An American doctor will explain why 5G is causing COVID-18 and why it could have only started in Thailand. Don't use your microwaves, you dozy cunts. <laughs>